What's up? This is Steve Leslie, Camel Nation from YSNLive.com, your home of the Camel Red Devils all season long. Week 10, can't believe this is the final week here at Tavern 26. want to take a chance to thank Dan Dahl and Mike Sharp and their entire staff for all they do for all of us at YSN and these fine athletes at Camel all season long. Week 10, Devils will play their final home game, big-time rivalry against the Liberty Leopards, but uh, player profile time joined by sophomore sophomores Jordan Kraft and Alex Doyle. Fellas, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, Jordan, let's go to you first. Sophomore, defensive tackle. Talk about this sophomore season and how it's been for you. You know, it's been good. Just being able to get the opportunity to play at the next level uh, as a sophomore, you know, I'm very proud of myself, and I just try to do everything to help my team win. Alex, how about for you? Sophomore year, wide receiver, DB. What's this sophomore season meant for you? Uh, it meant, I mean, I don't know, but I just I need to work harder because well, I came late. So Okay, well. You've came late, so that's not a bad thing. You're into the season now, week 10. I talked to you guys off air, a lot of young football players on this team. Um, and it's been a rough season. A lot of injuries, uh, some tough games, a tough schedule. Talk about Jordan, this senior group, and what what these guys mean to you for, for you younger guys to, to carry on this Red Devil program. Yeah, I think it's very important. You know, learning a lot from the seniors is, is it gets us ready to – play next year and to play both sides, most of our linemen, because we don't have a lot of linemen coming back. And I just try to learn everything I can from the older linemen. Alex, how about for you? Wide receiver, DB, um, a lot of talent coming back in the skill position. You being one of those guys, I say for both of you guys, tomorrow night's a great opportunity to get a win against a good Liberty team in your rivalry and springboard that over to which will be your junior seasons. What? what how good do you think – this offense couldn't be for you guys the next couple of years. Uh, I think we'll be good. I I feel like we'll be uh, better than nah, not better than this year, but like I feel like we'll be the same because like the younger guys coming up and they keep them like they're gonna play. They're obviously gonna play next year, so it's like the experience factor. Yeah, game conditions. That, that, that's important. As a sophomore, playing varsity football, you get game time conditions against a good schedule. Jordan, I got to ask you, uh, Red Devil Stadium, John Knappick Stadium, one of the best stadiums around, that has to be a great environment to play in. But Liberty comes to town. What's this environment going to be like Friday night? Yeah, I think it's going to be very crowded. You know, this is the last game of the season. And, you know, everyone comes out in Camel to support and, you know, watch us. Uh, try to win every game that we can, and I think it's just going to be a good crowd. It's going to be electrifying, and hopefully we're going to get out there and get a win. Yeah, it's going to be a great game for sure. Big-time rivalry. Liberty will head to Camel Memorial. Red Devil Nation, head on out and check these fine young men out Friday night in their regular season final. If you can't make it, we'll have the game for you on YSNlive.com. Check us out and watch these guys hopefully get a, a regular season win to end their campaign. With Jordan Kraft and, and Alex Doyle, uh, Alex, I'm going to ask you, exciting week, bonfire tomorrow night. That'll get uh, the student body and the fans of Camel ready to go for Friday night. Is that something that you guys look forward to? Uh, yeah, it's like getting more like comfortable and it gets it's like it's preparing for this week. Absolutely. What's it going to mean for you to be at a bonfire? fire tomorrow night after the, the last practice of the season going into a big time rivalry i think that bonfire will be a big time event tomorrow night yeah i think everyone's gonna be there and just to come and have a nice time you know it's the last week and i think it's just gonna be some fun before the game all it's right gonna... so i could promote this then right everybody can go all fan camel nation what time is it tomorrow night probably uh, i think seven seven, seven. o'clock yeah. all right so here's my challenge seven o'clock tomorrow night it's over by the stadium, obviously, right on the practice on the grass. I would have to believe on the. I think it's across the street. Yeah, across, it's across the, street. the street. All right, so seven o'clock. Get on over, support these young men for all they do for Camel Memorial, and, and it'll be a good time. I think the weather looks okay. Friday night it looks a little rainy, so I'm going to ask both of you: like to play in the rain? Yeah, that that's actually my wow. favorite. Even practicing in the rain, I think it's just a good feeling. All right, so when you're practicing in the rain, that makes families parents a little harder they have to wash practice jerseys and do washing and cleaning 
but you like playing in the rain. Yeah, it stinks, but it's worth it. It stinks, but it's worth it. I, I like that. How about for you, Alex? Uh, I agree with Jordan because it's, it's, it's funner. All right, so here's my question. It's pouring down rain. Most fans are not having fun with it. We're okay at wise end because we're in the press box. Do you feel how hard it's raining or is it that you just block all that out? Uh, when I'm playing, I just block all the noise out. I'm just focused on getting that quarterback and that running back. All right, Alex, how about for you? Do you feel that? Uh, no, not really. All right. I just so, play. so they don't feel that that's a good thing. Jordan, let's go um, talk about your family a little bit, what they mean to you. Um, my dad means a lot. You know, he's over there. And that's my mom. Shout out uh, to them. Absolutely. For all they do for, for you. I love asking this question. So Friday night, yeah. they're at the game. Yes, sir. Do you know where they're sitting? Yeah, they're usually sitting right in the middle, a little okay. bit to the right. Very because vocal. The reason why I ask is because we get a lot of different. Some kids say, I have no idea where my parents are sitting. Some can give me the row, the seat. That's awesome. Okay, so the next one off of that, any contact with them, any eye contact or anything you do before the game starts? Uh, you know, they usually come a little late, but if they're there early, I try to, um, you know, uh, say hi to my dad, say okay. hi to my mom, and just you know, say a prayer sometimes to okay. get ready for the game. Absolutely. Shout out to both of you for all you do for Camel Moore on these great athletes. Uh, Alex, how about for you? Family, what's, they, what's that mean to you? Talk uh, about it a little bit. Yeah, it means a lot. Like, my mom, she – and it doesn't matter what I do. She's going to – uh, like, she supports it. Yeah, that's what moms do. I say it all the time. Moms, no disrespect to dads, but – Moms are, are the go-to guys, especially for sons. I say that you're smiling. I'm 56 years old. I still have to check with my mom and run things by her. So yeah. get used to that for a long, long time. As a sophomore, you got a little bit to go yet. Role models. Yeah. Anybody guys like pro football, college football, is there somebody like you like to watch and say, I want to be like that guy someday? Uh, Michael Parsons, you know, just his ability okay. to get off the ball. I just try to focus on him and his ability to play anywhere on the field. I Michael like Parsons had himself a pretty good football game Monday night. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. How about for you, Alex? Anybody you look up to? Uh, I don't know. All right. You're young. You got a lot, a lot more time to get that going with Jordan Kraft and Alex Doyle. Camel Memorial, like I said, big time game Friday night, but. Camel Nation, they need you on Thursday night. Head on over to the big bonfire for Camel Memorial uh, uh, tomorrow night at 7, and then obviously the big football game Friday night against a very good Liberty team. Talk about Liberty a little bit. That's a good football team. Yeah, they're they're a very fast and athletic team. You know, They try to take advantage of the edge as soon as most as they can. They're very athletic, and they have a good coach and a um, good team going on over there. So I think it would just come with our hardest game. I think we have a good chance. Alex, how about for you? Pretty skilled. Their, their skill players are pretty good. So the DBs and and the defense has to be on alert. It's a pretty good offense. Who scored a lot of points here the last four or five weeks? Um, it's like uh, they're always – They like to play fast. They're always competitive. Every time yeah, – Absolutely. Year. You look at their schedule. That's a great answer. You look at their schedule. They're very competitive every game. They've lost some close games, but I'm excited for you guys because it's an opportunity to go out and end the season with a bang and get a good, good victory. All right, Jordan and Alex, you ready? We're going to play rapid fire. No wrong answers. I'm going to go. I'm curious. To, yeah, your math teacher's sitting right there. So, you know what? I'm going to start with that one. Let's go. Um, Sophomore, so you're just getting in. That well, did you go to grade school in Camel, both of you? Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Jordan's big chance on YSN to shout out his favorite teacher and favorite class at Camel Memorial High School. No pressure. All right. My favorite teacher is my art teacher, Mr. Fowler. Mr. Fowler, that's a good one. It's crazy because we have the same birthday, and I feel like we we can always I can always talk to him about anything. We talk about sports a lot, so right. it'd have to be him. Okay, so shout out to him for all he does. When's your birthday? May twenty third. May twenty third. All right, so you're still in school then. That's a good thing. Yeah. Alex, how about for you? Shout out to a teacher favorite class. Uh, I have to say my favorite class is biology. Biology. Who's the teacher? Uh, Miss Lowry. Miss Lowry in biology. That that's not an easy class. Shout out to them for all they do. No doubt. I'm curious here. Jordan Kraft's favorite food. 
My favorite food has to be chicken wings. No matter what flavor they are, I love chicken wings. All right, so let's go off of chicken wings. Um, favorite place for wings. And, and Tavern 26 is in the mix because their wings are really good here. Yeah. Other than Tavern 26, who does this great show for all of us, where are you going to get good wings at? Um, I'm usually going to Wingstop or Buffalo Wild Wings is the go-to. I like both of those places. I do. Yeah. And how many wings can Jordan eat in a setting? Oh, that's a big number. Uh, so I'm going to just say like this route of it is that's a lot of money either way at those two places. Cause I know when I take my kids to BW threes, that's not your, your, your $20 meal that. So how many wings are we, I, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess you could eat three dozen wings. Uh, probably more than that. More than that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what, defensive tackles and i think offensive tackle next year if that's fair to say yes sir all right uh, alex how about for you favorite food uh i have to say chicken alfredo chicken alfredo okay that's a good one where you get chicken alfredo at uh my mom every okay, restaurant okay. i go to like so i'm glad you said mom other there's no better food than what mom makes yeah it doesn't matter you can have a favorite food but when mom's cooking at home, you cannot beat those meals, no doubt. All right, here's a big one. Jordan is going to be on the field Friday night in a big-time rivalry. The headphones are on, getting hyped for a big game. What is Jordan listening to to get himself ready to go? Um, usually I'm listening to Freestyle by Lil Baby or um, Eminem. I feel like Eminem always gets people hyped before Eminem the game. Always. So is there, who's in charge of the music for the Red Devils? Um, I think it's our coach Schaefer usually coach on Schaefer. the playlist. All right, yeah. so he gets a nice playlist going. Those are those are good ones to listen to. Alex, how about for you? Uh, what are you listening to? It got to be little baby. Little baby. That's a little older for me as a as a big baby, but <laughs> I'm sure little baby will get you guys ready to go Friday night in a big time game. Favorite college football team? Ohio State. They got to be. Ohio Alex, State. how about for you? I agree. All right, so. That's a big time. Mom gave you the thumbs down on the Ohio State. Who's mom root for? Michigan. Well, Michigan, mom kind of has the upper hand here the last couple of years. And let's be honest, it hasn't even been really close the last couple of years. They've kind of whooped our behinds. But uh, Ohio State's a good for Penn State this week. That That's going to be a heck of a football game. Yeah. Favorite pro football team? Uh, Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. Okay. Yeah. Alex, how about for you? It's the Seahawks. Man, you guys are clones. Sophomores, same answer. How close are you two? That's my next question. Good friends on and off the field? Yeah, we, we I've known him since fourth grade. Ever since then, we just hang out out of school, and we just play the game with each other. We've been really close. That's awesome. So tell me, I mean, football takes up a lot of time. It really does. School, football. What do you guys do just to get away from school and football? Um, usually, like – to get away from it, I'm always hanging out with friends or trying to do something around the house for my family or anything they need, I'll try to help. Or I'm just playing video games usually. There's the answer. Video games. Yeah. The age of the youngster in the video games. Boy, oh, boy. Now, those video, I, I can't say. I play some myself. So those are fun to do with Alex Doyle, Jordan Craft. Jordan is having a terrible day. Nothing's going right. You have a girlfriend yet? You're too young for a girlfriend, right? Uh, no, nah, I don't have a girlfriend okay. right now. So when you're having a bad day, who are you going to? Uh, I'm always going to my dad and my mom. Okay. Like, my dad taught me everything I know, and I wouldn't be here without him. So I'd have to go with my dad. All right. Shout out to your dad as, as a huge yeah. – we talk role models. You have two great role models sitting right there rooting for everything you do, no doubt. Um, Alex, how about you? Who are you going to on a bad day? Uh – Probably no one. No one? Uh, kind of stay quiet to yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that answer either. You just kind of go and get away from everything and, and do what you have to do, no doubt. Jordan Kraft, Alex Doyle, what's the funnest part of playing football for Camel Memorial? Uh, I think it's just being able to go outside with, with a lot of people on the team, you know, you're friends with, and just going to be able to go outside and just compete with them and compete against other teams around the area is, is very fun. Alex, how about for you? Favorite part? Uh, competing. I love competing. Yeah, competing is what it's at. And I, I'm going to say this right here, right now. I've enjoyed 10 weeks of this. Obviously, 
I'm going to miss this. The kids I get a chance to talk to each and every week, I say it all the time, work as hard as anybody that plays football, anybody that's 10-0 and or doing what they do. I give this football team a lot of credit because they're here every week supporting one another. And I will say this to you two as sophomores. I'm a big believer as a former coach. I say sometimes you have to learn how to lose before you can win. I think you two and the underclassmen that are going to play for this football team will look back on this season and say, man, we built on something here. Now we're upperclassmen and we're going to have a successful season. So from all of us at YSN to you guys, to everybody here at Camel, I cannot thank, again, Dan Dahl, Mike Sharp, the staff here for the treatment all season long to end it with two talented sophomores. All I'm going to tell you, go have fun tomorrow night, Friday night. Lay it all on there. That's what rivalries are for. And there's no doubt in my mind that you guys, I could wake up Saturday morning and see shocker to people that, man, Camel beat Liberty, but go out and make that happen. Best of luck to yes, you sir. guys Friday you. night and the rest of the team. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. All righty. Very